Bill Cipher was doing his curse. As Stan defeated him, Bill Cipher released his curse, which said he will return again. And he did, in a different universe, as he woke up in the has-been universe. But as he tried to use his powers, he couldn't. He needed to do a deal with someone before he could do his powers. But how? How was he going to do it? He started to walk around as he bumped into someone. They turned around and cursed at him as he said, Well, this universe ain't as PG as mine. As Bill Cipher would not like this universe. The Gravity Falls universe were very PG, you know? I mean, there was implied stuff where Stan cursed for real, but it fast forward through it. So, yeah. And it was all funny and quippy. This was just kind of there. But... He did see a lot more deaths for people, so there'd be plenty of people to make a deal with. However, since Bill Cipher didn't have his powers, since he was reborn in another universe, he would need to make a deal. So, he's gonna need protection. He found a place called the Has Been Hotel, a place where people could get redeemed. I mean, technically, he was a sinner ish. Does it really count if you're an interdimensional, interdimensional god? I, I I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Anyway, Bill Cipher would talk in as Charlie would greet him and tell him he could change his ways and he can get into heaven. Probably. They're not sure yet. But Bill agreed to stay as he just needed to find someone desperate to make a deal with. Then he could help them and then he could get his powers back. As Bill stayed there, everyone was talking. Everyone was having a good time. As in Husk would say, so, what's your deal? As Bill would look at him, he would have to make up a fake story. I mean, he could tell him the truth, but, you know, they wouldn't believe him. And if they did, they would probably kick him out. As Bill would then continue to think, what could he say? Bill would then make up an interesting story. He would tell him the story of Stan Pines, about how he messed up with his brother and sent him down here. And he was trying to bring him back, but he would die failing to do so. Basically, he, he used his story word for word, just cut out Dipper and Mabel, and added him some few dark details, because this is a darker universe. As Husk would say, wow, you really did that? That's messed up. I guess you belong here. Angel would say, you really believe that? I mean, imps go to, up there all the time. Why couldn't a human go down here? Angel would say, I guess it's possible, but still. Charlie would say, either way, I'm welcome. You're here. Yeah, thank you, Bill would say. As the days passed, Bill was looking for who to make a deal with. He could make a deal with Huss to get rid of Alistair's deal, but he probably wouldn't think he was powerful enough. He noticed Angel. Angel was, well, not treated the best under Valentino, to say the very least. So, he knew as it was his time to break things in. Angel was, well, he was sad, to say the least. He was sitting down, depressed, as suddenly someone would walk up next to him. It was Bill Cipher. As Bill said, hey, I know you um have to get out of this place. You know, get away from him. Angel would say, who? Val. I can make it so that happens. Angel would say, don't you patronize me. As he would go off on Bill. Bill didn't expect this. People on Gravity Falls were so easy to manipulate. But here, he was really fighting back. As Bill would say, listen, listen, I'm an overlord. Like, ow. All I, you have to do is give me a deal so I can get rid of him. Why would you do that anyway? Why would you fight a powerful overlord just for my soul? I don't want your soul. I want my power back. The only way for me to get my power back is if I make a deal. That's just how it works. Angel would think about this. He assumed he was full of S, but he might not be. So he wanted to come up with a deal of his own. Angel would then smirk and say, all right, but I have conditions of the deal. He knew that Bill was desperate. At first, he thought he was just lying. But why would he be so consistent if it wasn't a lie? If it really was a lie, then Bill must really, really, really hate Angel. And he doesn't know why he would hate him that much. So he just assumed that he was telling the truth. Or at the very least, he was going to be able to test him. But he needed a foolproof plan so Bill couldn't turn around and destroy him. He would say, if you do this, you have to care about me in the hotel. And you have to care about our well-beings. Suddenly, Bill Cipher was shocked. He knew this was his only way out. Husk wouldn't make a deal with him. He was too stubborn. He wouldn't trust anyone to fight the radio demon. Angel wouldn't trust anyone to fight Val either. That's why he put such harsh restrictions. Bill began to shake 
as he didn't know if he should make this deal or not. But Bill then had an idea. He could make another deal to get rid of this deal. And he goes, fine, but on the condition that some that I can go back on this deal. What do you mean by go back? Oh, I mean try to get rid of my feelings for you all. Angel would say, you don't understand how feelings work. If you care about us, you won't want to stop caring about us. Bill Cipher would say, shut up, as in they shook hands, as a big light emmered throughout the room. Charlie would wake up and say, what's happened? As Bill said, I did it, I did it, I did it, as then he would grow and shrink and do a bunch of his weird powers. I can do it again, I can bring back Weird Mageddon, yeah, as then he teleported right to Val. Val, Vox, and Velvet all looked behind them. They saw Bill, as Val said, who the heck is this? Who finds a triangle good looking anyway? Ugh. I don't know who you are, but I don't want to do business with you. Vox would say you weren't invited. As they would all get ready to fight him, Bill would say, Hmm, you don't like triangles? Too bad you are one. As he snapped his finger, Val would turn triangle shaped. As all of his organs would turn triangle and fall out of his body. Bill would say, Oh my god, that is horrifying. Even for me. Uh, sorry, if I did that in my universe, it would be more cartoony and your body would just be a triangle. It wouldn't, like, spill out of your body, and, you know, I guess scientifically you couldn't really handle that, and this is more accurate. As in, Val would say, destroy me. Sorry, I wanted to say the K word, but I can't. As in, Bill would be like, uh, okay. As in, he burnt him. So, who else wants it? Vox would say, not it. Val would say, not it. All right. Uh, you guys are clear. And then he teleported to the hotel and said, now that was easy. Charlie would say, what the has been, ha ha ha, is going on? Bill Cypher would then say, I'm an interdimensional god here to bring weird Mageddon and get revenge on those two kids as he was going to teleport away. But he just, he just couldn't. He couldn't teleport away. He couldn't leave them. Because he cared about him. He would say, all right, time to... Angel would say, no. You caring about us would be pretty interesting. Besides, it's karma for what you did. Bill would say, ugh. As then he would get irritated. But he couldn't hurt him since he cared about them all. As Charlie would say, what did you do? I made a deal. He got all his powers back. But he asked to take care of us. Because he actually cares about us. Alistair would say, what? Angel, that's actually quite clever. Hey, since you care about me, do you think you could... Alistair was going to try to give him the walk away. No, I'm not going to do your dirty work, Al. Besides, that could hurt everyone else, and I care about them. I mean, I don't... Uh, this is so stupid! As Bill would sit there, annoyed, sighing, as he was stuck here. As he knew he cared about them. As he knew he didn't want to get them hurt. So now, he had to protect the hotel. As Bill became the protector of the hotel, he cared about Husk. He cared about Angel. He cared about Alistair. He cared about Charlie. He was a cosmic god that protected the hotel and all of the people in it. And they were his friends. In this alternate timeline, Charlie wouldn't even get an army. She was confident she was going to win with just Bill. As the days turned to weeks, weeks turned into months, eventually Adam would arrive. As Adam flew down himself and looked right at everyone. There's no army. What are you even going to do against me? Bill would fly up and say, hey there, Adam. Listen, you don't want things to get weird, so get weird. Ew, are you coming on to me? No, no, no. Oh, oh my god. I, I, I sorry, I'm not used to this universe lingo. I, I should really have, have thought that through. But no, I, uh, I don't want to destroy you and your entire army, so you should go. Adam would then laugh. This guy's funny. Oh, uh, you brought some sort of triangle comedian. As Adam then would, well, he would slowly fly towards Bill Cipher lowering his weapons getting ready to attack him as bill would say i tell you not to do this i don't want to do this everyone else hates it when they see destruction well actually no one really minds it except for charlie but charlie's the sweetest one so adam would say uh-huh 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 as he would swing his angelic sword against bill cypher but then it broke as he looked out and said that's not supposed to then suddenly adam's hand would turn into eggs as then Bill Cipher would say, I have an egg, egg slit plan to deal with you. As then Adam turned into an egg. As he started to scream, as he fell onto the floor and the egg cracked as he screamed violently. As then Bill would say, wow, that's, that's wow. That, that is just wow. 
as exorcists swarmed Bill Cipher, he would do kooky things like turn some of them into eggs, turn some of them into food. He would then uh, give some of them extra limbs or make it so they are no longer bipedal, so they're forced to walk on the ground for all eternity. Just do a bunch of weird things to them like that. As then they all left. As then, Bill Cipher won. As Charlie ran out and said, you did it, you did it. And that's where we're going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. I love Bill Cipher and I love Gravity Falls. And I am very, very sad that it stopped. Like, Gravity Falls has been gone longer than it's been running. So, yeah. But it had such a big impact. I was in elementary school. Damn, I feel old just telling this story when Gravity Falls came out. And I was watching it and all my friends were watching it. And we were like a big Gravity Falls fan. I still remember the end with Weird Mageddon. That was one of my favorite things ever. So, yeah. Uh, I miss Gravity Falls. Maybe I'll give it a watch. I don't know. Do any of you guys like Gravity Falls? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope this video did well. And I hope your day is going well, too. By the time I post this, I'll probably be out with family. So, yep. I uh, hope you all enjoyed my video. I know I did, and I love you all very, very much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. You all mean the world to me. Goodbye, and have a great, wonderful day, and you are all beautiful just the way you are.